Let us look at the classical pranayam and first and foremost is Nadi Shodhan pranayam. The word Nadi means energy channel and Shodhan means to cleanse or to purify. Therefore, Nadi Shodhan is the practice whereby pranic channels are purified. It is practiced by alternating the inhalation and exhalation between the left and right nostrils and in this way influencing the Ida and Pingala Nadis. You might remember Ida Nadi, Pingala Nadi, uh, left and right uh, Nadis in our energy structure. These are also connected to the uh, two brain hemispheres. So, Dattatreya's Yoga Sutra recommends that at the beginning it is practiced four times a day for 20 counts with the retention to the best of one's ability. This should be performed four times a day uh, and uh, this is also one pranayam which can be performed just after a half hour of meals. No other pranayam can be performed before at least two hours, recommended time is three hours after a full meal. Let us come to the technique. Uh, raise the hand in front of the face, place the tip of the index and middle finger gently on the uh, eyebrow center. Both fingers should be relaxed, hold the thumb just above the right nostril and ring finger just above the left. These two fingers control the flow of breath in the nostrils by alternately pressing one nostril, blocking the flow of breath and then releasing and pressing the other nostril. Little finger is placed beside the ring finger. When practicing for the long period, the right elbow can be supported in the palm of the left hand. Uh, care must be needed to keep the head, neck and backbone uh, erect and in the straight in order to prevent the chest uh, restriction. Uh, stage 1 of alternate nostril breathing is about begin the equal inhalation and exhalation using the ratio 1 is to 1. As mentioned in the previous slide, uh, in the alternate nostril breathing, the first thing is exhale fully and inhale from the left nostril, exhale from the right nostril. Ex exhale and inhale in the stage 1 should be of the same proportion. Close with the right nostril with the thumb and inhale uh, through the left nostril that is the first step. At the same time count mentally 1, 2, 3 until inhalation ends comfortably. Close the left nostril with the ring finger and release the pressure of the thumb on the right nostril. Uh, again while exhaling count 1, 2, 3 uh, simultaneously and when you feel comfortably exhale. Few practice notes. After one week, if there is no difficulty, we can increase the length of inhalation and exhalation by one count or very few counts. Continue to increase the count in this way until count of 10 is to 10 is reached. Do not force the breath in any way, that is a basic guideline for all the pranayam practices. Be careful not to speed up the counting during exhalation to compensate for the shortage of breath. Reduce the count at the slightest sign of discomfort. Then comes stage 2 after practicing few weeks. Uh, after perfecting the, the first 1 to 1 ratio and then 10 is to 10 ratio, uh, we can change this to 1 is to 2. That means, initially half the length of inhalation, inhale for the count of 5 and exhale for the count of 10. Then we can repeat on the other side. This is one round, we can practice 5 to 10 round like this in the stage 2. Again, few practice notes. During the ensuing practice, continue extending the breath by adding 1 count to the inhalation and 2 to the exhalation up to the count of 10 is to 20. With one contradiction that stage 2 of the technique 2, 
begin the process of introversion. So, we must keep this in mind that it is not recommended for depressed and withdrawn persons. So, please keep it in mind in stage 2 is not meant for people with the depressed with the depression related symptoms. Extension of stage 2 actually involves longer count. So, it is recommended it is not recommended for the people with the uh, heart problems as well. Benefits of Nadi Shodhan Pranayam are immense and these are very well researched. There are hundreds of research papers about the impact about the positive impact of Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. Uh, technique 2 certainly gives more pronounced balancing of breath and the brain hemisphere, it is found in many studies. As such, even the simpler the stage 1 Nadi Shodhan Pranayam has a calming effect, it relieves anxiety, it improves concentration and it uh, stimulates Agnya Chakra, our ability to make decision. The ratio of 1 is to 1 in stage 1 establishes a calming rhythm. Uh, for brain and heart and when brain and heart uh, are on the common rhythm, it is very good for the cardiovascular system as well as nervous system. So, people having problems will be benefited, people not having problem or people having problems not yet surfaced at the physiological level will also be benefited and it is particularly beneficial in the stress related conditions because it has immediate impact uh, and no negative side effect. As the count extends, uh, breathe slows down in general and in this way it helps in keeping the balance of sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Respiration also becomes more efficient. Uh, with the Nadi Shodhan Pranayam, because air flow is, is smoother and less turbulent in the uh, whole uh, respiratory system. The ratio helps people with the respiratory problems such as asthma, uh, emphysema and bronchitis. The ratio 1 is to 1, 1 is to 2 in stage 2 gives very profound relaxation. The heartbeat and pulse rate, they, they slow down with the alternate nostril breathing and blood pressure also drops. 